Good evening again to all of you. Welcome to our church congregation and members, anyone else who may not be part of our faith communities. Uh, this is our contemplative service in the Taize style, uh, prepared for you with uh, great love and having in mind the need to stay connected with our God uh, by Pastor Matt Schaefer of Bethel United Methodist Church and I, Pastor Rafael Garcia of Christ United Methodist Church here in Staten Island. So welcome again. I hope again that you are safe, well, that as you continue to walk your journey, you will find ways to uh, stay that way, uh, thinking that our God is walking with us. So with that in mind, let us uh, today um, begin this part of the uh, contemplative service with a reading by Thomas Merton, a, a great contemplative figure um, in this country. In his book, New Seeds of Contemplation, um, he wrote, what is contemplation? And I believe it comes appropriate for this time since we've been doing this, I believe we began late last October, probably November, and so here we are talking about contemplation all the time, and yet we haven't said much about it. So today I'll, I will read a little bit about what he said, and then I uh, will give you some time for you to think about that. Contemplation is, above all, awareness of the reality of that source. He knows the source obscurely, inexplicably, but with a certitude that goes both beyond reason and beyond simple faith. For contemplation is a kind of spiritual vision to which both reason and faith aspire by their very nature, because without it, they must always remain incomplete. Yet contemplation is not vision because it sees without seeing and knows without knowing. It is more profound or it is a more profound deep of faith, a knowledge too deep to be grasped in images, in words, or even in clear concepts. It can be suggested by words, by symbols, but in the very moment of trying to indicate what he knows, the contemplative mind takes back what he has said and denies what he has affirmed. For in contemplation, we know by unknowing or better. We know beyond all knowing or unknown. Let's take a few moments and think about 
what we have just learned. Let us pray. Blessed be God, the source of all being. Blessed be God, the breath of the universe, the wisdom behind nature and the scriptures. Blessed be God, the way of reconciliation and healing. Creator God, you are the spirit and the breath of the universe. You are the center towards whom we journey and the way leading to wholeness. We see your world of, of abundance and blessing all around us. We hear your call to be your eyes, your ears, your hands, to experience this creation and care for it, expressing our wonder in thankfulness and praise. We come together as a community of faith and compassion we open our hearts and minds to you. Come, inspire us, dwell with us, and make us one in your spirit. Amen.
I will read a few verses from Psalm 147. How good it is to sing praises to our God, for God is gracious and his son of praise is fitting. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. God determines the number of the, of the stars. God gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. God's understanding is beyond measure. God's delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor God's pleasure in the speed of a runner. But God takes pleasure in those who fear God, in those who hope in God's steadfast love. If you heard those words of the song, let us try to find some peace in the God of love and compassion. So let us move into deeper reflection at this time.
Let me share a few words from the first chapter of Mark. We're still uh, reading from that chapter. It's a long chapter and we've been reading it by pieces every, every week. I will read a few verses from there. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up, went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. He answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. And with this in, in our hearts, let us uh, sing those words and let us think about them in time for reflection. It's time to offer our prayers. Uh, as we have been doing it lately, I uh, will um, start with a Kyrie and use the same song as a response after each petition. Uh, also, if you have a candle, you can, you are invited to light it. I will light mine over here. Seems to have, seems to have. Well, I have some trouble with that, so we'll leave that that way. <laughs> That's not a problem. And so let us start with the Kiriet and then we'll, we'll offer our petitions. <laughs> We pray for our congregations as we continue facing uncertain times. We pray that our sins that God loves and cares for us will strengthen our commitment to make visible this love and care in our neighborhoods. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayers. Kyrie, 
Let us pray for our pastors in our conference for mental, physical, and spiritual health. That the time our bishop has set apart for clergy convocation this coming week gives the certainty that we are not alone in this journey of navigating the many uncertain waters of ministry. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayers. Our prayers are with the health community and government leaders in this race to stop and control the spread of the coronavirus. We also pray for common sense in this era of misinformation and theories that seek to divide and demonize minorities and those who think differently. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayers. We offer our prayers for those striving for freedom, democracy, human rights, and decency in countries where these basic rights are not only denied, but in some cases punished, punishing those who speak up. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And with these petitions, now let us offer or let us read the Lord's Prayer in the Jesus Seminar style found in the Rex A, A, A excuse me, aehuntprogressive.com. Eternal Spirit, source of all that is and ever shall be, loving parent in whom do we discern heaven. May knowledge of your holiness inspire all peoples and may your commonwealth of peace and freedom flourish on earth until all mankind heed your call to justice and compassion. May we, may we find bread that we need for today and for the hurts we cause one another. May we be forgiven in the same measure that we forgive. In times of trial and temptation, help us to be strong. When life seems overwhelming, help us to endure. And thus from the yoke of sin, deliver us. May you reign in the power of human love now and forever. Amen. And with this beautiful prayer, let us uh, now um, listen to the benediction as we always need God's blessing for the journey. May the God you see in all the colors of creation arousing you a sense of awe and wonder. May the God who is sacred presence be real to you. May the God who is a source of inspiration and courage keep calling you forward. May you God go with you and bless you. Amen. Oh, now we 
reach out to others so all world can see God will be there watching from above oh now in peace in peace 